Now we really enjoyed camping here at Lake Powell. It's, it's not a secret spot. Lone Rock is a very popular place to be. Don't expect to be alone at Lone Rock, but expect to have tremendous beauty, awesome opportunity to meet people. Um, we've, we didn't know what to expect when we got here. We're like, maybe we'll stay for three days. So we talked and we came in and we paid for our three days. And then as day two, I think even day one passed, yeah. we were like, it turned maybe, into six days. Yeah, maybe we should add some more days <laughs> on. So this is one of those places, if you have the time or you want to make the time, you will not regret being here.
This stand-up paddleboard experience was brought to you by our kind neighbor here at the campground <laughs> at the beach. If you would like to see more of these videos, we'd appreciate your contribution to our stand-up paddleboard fund. <laughs> you can donate in part or in whole. We won't be picky. This is really awesome. We love it. Everest loves it too. She wants one. Everest loves it too. Do it for Everest. Everest approved. You gonna get it? Come get your ball. Where's your This is her boat. <laughs> if she makes me fall. Oh my god. <laughs> Camping in Lake Powell is 100% worth your time. We definitely recommend that you make a stop if you're passing through on your way south, headed toward Mexico like we are, or if you're coming out and you're headed toward Canada, definitely worth stopping at Lake Powell. Even if you're just driving around, you want to go see the Grand Canyon or you're in Las Vegas, it's worth the side trip to spend a couple days here camping on the beach. Beautiful view, lots of things to do. We'll get into showing you some of that, how we were able to go paddle boarding, kayaking, we even went jet skiing, lots of hanging out. And if you have to have it, there's actually a pretty decent Verizon service here too. So we, uh, we definitely encourage you to consider camping here. Some things about camping here at Lake Powell is you're gonna be dry docking, so make sure you have plenty of water and you've dumped your tanks. Good news is the park allows you to do that as soon as you come in, there's a dump station. So you can fill up and you can empty and come on down to the beach for as long as you can stay or as long as you wanna stay. There's also soft sand here, so you wanna make sure that you're prepared for that. It's not in every location on the beach, but uh, we have four wheel drive and we're pleased that we have it makes us feel a little bit um, more comfortable. We actually spent a lot of time pulling people out of getting stuck in the sand. Like that guy. He'll, he'll make it. Yeah, he's gonna make it. It's also good to have solar here. Um, solar power to charge up your batteries because you will be boondocking. Um, it's also generators are allowed and I think the quiet hours are from like 10 to 8. Or 10 to 10 6. 6. Yeah, so. Uh, so pretty generous uh, generator hours. Um, we did have to use our generator for a little bit because of our computers, um, but solar is also great to have um, while you're out here. It's super sunny uh, this time of year. And obviously, check what time of year you're coming. Plenty of places for you to be able to camp. Pretty much, you know, spring and fall, and uh, if you're brave through the summer or the winter. There's no reservations. Your National Park, America the Beautiful Pass, gets you in. Otherwise, there is a $30 fee to get here. 
uh, in addition to the camping fee, which is currently $14 a night. Um, but definitely plan in advance when you want to come out here. But there are tons of campsites. It's yeah, all, there's, a, there's an abundance of campsites. I don't know if this place would ever get full. Yeah, it's all informal, so. so you just pull up wherever. We backed up with beautiful views of the, the lake right outside, 20 feet outside our door. And uh, other people with bigger rigs or cars even just parked further up in the hardback sand. Um, again, just make sure to check the time of year and the, and the weather and make sure you have all the preparations. Having enough water and food. You can go into Page. It's only a 20 minute drive, so don't freak out if you run out of, I don't know, toilet paper. Uh, you can run into Page and you can grab that at Walmart or wherever you prefer to shop. But there is a Walmart here as well. So you are far enough away that it feels nice and secluded with all the hundreds of other RVers but you're also close enough that you can go in and grab a Big Mac if you really, really need a Big Mac. Don't I need a Big Mac? No. I don't need a Big Mac? No. Okay. I feed you well enough. She feeds me well enough. My food is way better than McDonald's. And on the marriage note, gentlemen, <laughs> let me know if you feel like me, if your wife has made you forget how to cook because for the last however many years of your marriage, they're doing all the cooking. That's how a woman can take control of a marriage and make sure that the man never runs away. Because without you, babe, I don't, I don't think I'd be able to and eat. Some men are better cooks than the women. Yeah? I mean, that's true. I'm not trying to be, like, chauvinistic, but I mean... You can cook, too. I used to. <laughs> now I can cook cereal. I'm good at cooking cereal. <laughs> but make sure to bring cereal when you come out here. Bring whatever you like. We actually spread out and had a great time being able to... Yeah, we cooked a lot outside. ...take our table out, our grill, had our chairs set up. Because we made friends with our neighbors, we could run into town when we needed to and just leave everything where it was. And we weren't worried about anybody running off with it, so... But we will be coming back here. We don't know when, but we had an amazing time, and we love it. So this wraps up our stay here at Lake Powell. We got one adventure left. What's that? What's that? Where are we going? Are you being funny? Yeah. Where are you go? Where are we going? <laughs> so we have one adventure left with Lake Powell. We're gonna go try to. Oh, that's right. We're gonna go kayak Antelope Canyon. We're gonna try to. We're gonna try to. We know so. it's possible. We just don't know all the details yet. Yeah. So if you never see this video because we went missing, we apologize. But. Yeah. If we can figure it out, we'll help you figure it out. And, uh, you know, because other people passed on that information to us and told us about the experience. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> she, she just ruined it.